Welcome students in my new tutorial and in this tutorial I'll teach you to make one address project in Python language. So it's very simple by using the help of variables we'll be making this project. So what we have to do firstly I'll make one new file file and new file and in this window in my code window I'll just start with the program firstly the print command And then I have to use variable. So firstly, I am taking one name variable, meaningful name. And here I am saving any fictitious name. Suppose I am saving here Aman Sharma. This is the name. And then I want to save the mobile number. So here I am writing mobile is equal to just any numbers. And then uh, third variable I'll take for saving address. Any fictitious address I'll take here. Railway road, suppose Kalka. And then I'll put inverted commas. Now I want to print all these. So for printing this, I'll use print command and for printing, now I want to print all these variables. So what I could do, print name, then mobile, then address. All these variables I've used. So firstly, I'll save this and in desktop folder as I've already made one student folder here, I'll save as address project. Save. Now if I'll run this, how it will run in shell window? I'll press F5 key function key. Now you could see here, it's not looking that good, like here name is there, then mobile number, then address. It's not looking good here. So what I could do, I'll go at the bottom on taskbar. Here I am having two windows. So I'll select the coding one. Now what the changes I could do here, simply I want to print the variables in separate separate lines so it looks more meaningful so here i can write like print i'll put inverted commas and i'll hear what i want to write the text name of student is equal to i'll give little space here and then comma name till here only i want to print so that it should come in one line these I'll remove then in second line I want to print mobile number and then mobile that means the name of the variable I'll type here and then in third line I'll print address of student and address variable. Now it seems more meaningful. I'll click on file and save. And now I'll run the program. Now you could see it's looking more meaningful here. Address project in Python language, name of the student. Now when we are saving name of a student, now this is a string because Aman Sharma. Now Aman Sharma is a collection of characters and in between empty space is also there. That means this is a string and it, it is already saved in 
name variable i'll just place it here then mobile number now mobile number is also that means this is a number and so it is saved in a variable and the third one address now address is a collection of characters and spaces and even the special character that means like forward slash this is a forward slash then commas in between so in string everything can be saved so here when we are printing it that is also being printed so i hope it's clear how to save a string and in previous tutorial i have taught you how to save a character and even you know how to save a number so in my next tutorial in detail i'll teach you the types of variable which are used to store numbers or strings so with this i'm closing my tutorial meet you soon in my next tutorial okay bye bye take care